How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody and welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at configuration files and basically we're going to see what they're good for, how to use them and yeah so once again don't skip around in this video because you could miss some code which could greatly affect the functionality of your plugin so make sure to watch it all the way through also everything will be available on github so you guys can go follow me on github the link should be on the screen right now if also it is also down in the description so be sure to click that go follow follow this project down there but let's get started so first things first we want to create a public void uh, load config and now this can really be called whatever you want it to. It's just easier to call things um, that make sense. And now I always say this, that, you know, these things can be called whatever you want them to because they really can. Um, it's just, you know, name things however you want to name things because that's usually going to be the easiest way to remember things. Uh, but the next thing we're going to want to do here in our load config is we want to call this load config in our main, well, in our on enable there. So we can just say load config there. And then the next thing we want to do in here is we want to do git config dot options dot copy defaults true. And so now what this is basically saying is if there's any defaults in our config which we'll make in just one second copy them over to the configuration file when it's actually created and what that means is say for instance you know we have in there uh, users uh, then we have you know me and then we have you and we have brown if we put that into our configuration file that's inside our project file over here uh, once we create our config it's going to copy these over every time that the plugin is it's gonna make sure that the config file has these every time that it is run and every time the plugin gets enabled alright make sense so far okay alright so the next thing we want to do is we want to save this config so we're just gonna do uh, save config and so now we have our plugin here is actually going to be creating a config and it's going to save the defaults. Now anytime you do anything where you are changing a value or getting a value, well only if you're only setting a value, anytime you're setting a value to the config, you always have to make sure you save it or it won't register to the config. But now we have to actually make this config. So we're going to go to we're going to right click our SRC new file config.yml um, but I've never really set anything default I usually just set things when I'm when I'm doing an actual you know plugin but now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this events class that we, we we've been working with and we're going to go look at this block place class or this block place event down here so basically what we had before was is just telling everyone in the server when a player was breaking a or placed TNT. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to change this up here. So, all right. So what we want to do here is we need, so we already called our plugin here, but we don't want to make this private. I don't know why that was not private there. It's pretty weird to be honest with you. Um, right. So we want to set this to our config here. So we're going to just do plugin dot get config dot set. And now we can set whatever we want to set. So this first arg here is going to be the path that you want to set it to. And this is going to be surrounded in quotes. And then this part here is going to be um, the actual data that you're setting, right? Um, so we want to do, let's just say we want to keep a log of all the blocks that a player places, right? If it's TNT. So we'll say if block dot get type dot equals material dot TNT so we cut one of these parentheses off here all right so if it equals TNT we're going to do user 
users dot and then we're going to go plus here player dot get uuid plus quotes and then what we have to do here is if we wanted to keep track of all the ones it has to do if we just do it like this where we just say you know block or something like that um, it's not going to do what we need it to do and it's not going to keep counting it's only going to just keep replacing that one so we just need to do a private int count and then we can go uh, let's add an underscore here and then we'll go plus count plus and now we have to add these dots here and what these dots are going to do is it's going to add it's basically going to press enter and you know space so it's gonna you know user will be you know a clickable and then block uh, the block number here will be a click well the player will be another subcategory or I guess we should use technical terms this is going to be the parent this is going to be the child of this this is going to be the child of this child and then what we're going to do here is we want uh, location or actually you know we can just do world to, to keep things easy here and then we're going to do block dot get world dot get name and now we're going to just copy this a, a couple times here because we want uh, x not equals x we want x y and z and then we're just going to just do get oops dot get oh so we actually have b underscore lock here that we can use which we created last time so let's go ahead and use that um, this is going to make this part here much, 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 much easier than having to do get location. I totally forgot that we did the B lock there. And then we're just going to say get get x dot get. Uh, let's actually use get block. Let's. Uh, that's just going to give us a sing like a a non really long value. It's only going to give us um, a few. It's only going to give us like two or three integers. Um, and then we want to do plugin dot save config so we always want to make sure that we're saving the config there and then we also need to do count plus plus and what this is doing is this is just adding one value or one number to count here to our integer so right now it's going to be zero and then when it runs it's going to be one and then if it runs again two three four five and so on um, so let's see I think I got everything working here and properly coded uh, so let's just double check it here so let's reload all right and let's uh, pull up the config here so nothing's in there let's just close all these and then reopen that just because we got a bunch open then that we don't really need all right so so I placed TNT so this should be updating all right so now we see we have user dot my UUID dot my block count or my block dot well no not dot there and then end and then these are the values that we are setting so now if we place another one this should go block two or block one excuse me and then we have block two um, so pretty much everything in Minecraft does start off and Java does start off with zero being the first integers not one so when you're counting a lot of times zero is going to be the first um, especially if you're looking at arguments, um, zero is almost always first. Um, but let's just get rid of all of this 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 chat here because this is just um, clouded here. And we're just gonna say player dot send message chat color dot gold, or let's just do red. Uh, you have been added as a TNT, or actually let's see, you have. Uh, Placing TNT has added you to our logs. So we'll just say something like that. Something really simple. And then we're going to get rid of this block break event. And now the same thing uh, can be done here with uh, the block break event there. You can use that same config method uh, to, 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 to record uh, what blocks get broken. Um, so let's just do that. 
So placing TNT has added you to our logs. And now what's going to happen here since we restarted the server is it's going to override um, all the previous ones that we said there. So all the, the previous 0, 1, and 2 there um, because we haven't made a way for the server to maybe save this file or to keep adding on to that. And that's going to be a little bit more complicated. So we're not really going to worry about that. But so what you guys basically learned in this video is you guys learned how to create your config file and you guys learned how to write data to it um, by learning what the paths were and learning um, sort of the methods behind writing to your config. So that's all I have for you guys today in this lesson. So be sure to join me back next time for the next video. And we are actually going to talk about custom items and possibly arrays. We'll see how far we get, but we're definitely going to talk about custom items and make sure to comment your thoughts leave a like if you enjoyed the video tweet at me at the underscore source underscore code or tweet at the hashtag tsc coding to share your projects or if you need help troubleshooting your projects lastly make sure to follow me on github which this project file or these project files and code more or less i should just say the, the code that we wrote today in this video will be there and you can check up on the other videos um, maybe if you just need to check up on code or maybe a method that you're not quite sure on um, but thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time